several years ago, after the IPCC report came out, really giving us a timeline for when significant action had to take place to reverse global warming, Mike Kelly and I got together with other local elected officials and we quickly realized that while there was a lot of desire to take action, uh, people didn't have the background knowledge to know what to do. So we started with an event based on Paul Hawkins' book Drawdown at a church. Um, we had about 135 people come together for that and shortly thereafter we became Climate Action KC. What sets Climate Action KC apart is that it's a large umbrella organization that sees to it that is actually taking action. I mean, it's right in the name. Climate Action KC intends to take action. CAKC is a platform, it's a place where the business community, community organizations, government entities can all come together. The only way you can do this is have a collaborative approach. And you need government, you need the private sector, you need community organizations. From the beginning, Climate Action KC has worked in partnership with the Mid-America Regional Council. And one of our real key efforts has been the Regional Climate Action Plan. At this time, it has been adopted by about 80% of our region or 19 governments within our region, um, which is really fantastic because that allows those cities, those school districts, those counties, to really utilize the resources in the Climate Action Plan to make their own community stronger. I think Sia Casey's focus on buildings and transportation is so important because those are two huge sources of our emissions. Uh, related to that, of course, is the electricity generation and the power sector. So we know we need to make our electricity much, 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 much cleaner so we can use it in our transportation and our buildings. What CAKC is doing with the Building Energy Exchange and Plug-in KC is really helping transform those markets. So in my work with the U.S. Green Building Council, we are hyper aware that, especially here in Kansas City, buildings account for 63% of greenhouse gas emissions. That's 63%, that's almost two thirds of the emissions. So for me and in my industry and what we work on, that says to me, we're two thirds of the solution. That's a huge chunk that we've got to ramp up and take care of. And working on, it's so critical for Climate Action KC to work to address the building sector. That's just a big area we can address and with the Building Energy Exchange and the Rising Trades Accelerator, working to bring more people to the table and address climate justice issues. I think meeting the moment now has to do with coming together and seeing how together we can access some of the opportunities, some of the federal funding, the federal support to solve these problems. Um, so I think it's really exciting knowing that at this moment in time, we really do have the resources and support from the federal government to work at a local level and really solve many of the problems facing us as a result of climate change. Net zero by 2050. 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 Net zero Kansas City by 2050.